Welcome to a Minnesota Pollution Control Agency video tutorial for performing amendments to previously submitted sample value spreadsheets and or discharge monitoring reports associated with NPDES SDS permit reporting. In this video we will outline where sample value spreadsheet and discharge monitoring report amendments occur within the e-services system. Additionally we will identify the process for performing a given amendment. To perform an amendment, log into your account as you normally would by entering in your user ID, your password, and clicking the login button. To perform a sample values or DMR amendment, navigate to your DMRs as you normally would by clicking on the discharge monitoring report link. Please note that sample values and DMRs cannot be amended through the My Services submitted grouping on the My Workspace page. Select the appropriate facility that requires the amendment and click the Continue button. Select the appropriate permit selection and click Continue. Amendments will be made within the Manage DMR Services screen. Specifically, sample values and operational spreadsheets will be amended within the Submitted Sample Values Spreadsheet grouping by submitting a spreadsheet in the Resubmit Spreadsheet column. DMRs will be amended within the Submitted DMRs grouping, either by amending the DMR online through the Amend DMR online option, or by resubmitting a spreadsheet through the Resubmit DMR spreadsheet option. First, we'll discuss a couple of considerations for the sample values and operational spreadsheet amendments. How you will complete your sample values or operational spreadsheet amendment will depend on the file organization of your previously submitted spreadsheets. If you have the spreadsheet file you want to amend filed or saved to a known location on your computer, you will locate and open the file, make applicable amendments, and save the file to capture the amendments. If you do not have the sample values or operational spreadsheet file you want to amend filed or saved to a known location on your computer, you will download a copy of the previously submitted spreadsheet by clicking on the icon in the Download Submitted Spreadsheet column and saving that file to a known location on your computer. You will then open the file, make applicable amendments, and save the file to capture the amendments. Once you have an amended operational or sample values spreadsheet ready for submittal, click the icon in the Resubmit Spreadsheet column. On the Submit Sample Values page, click the Browse button to locate the file to be submitted. and click the Continue button. If the amended sample values or operational spreadsheet was successfully submitted, you will be rerouted back to the Manage DMR Services screen. Alternatively, if there are issues with the amended submittal, you will receive an error report on the previous screen. Please address the error report accordingly. Another way to determine if the submittal was received is by viewing the submittal date column within the Submitted Sample Values Spreadsheet grouping. Please note that the submittal date for the amended spreadsheet will appear and replace the date of the previously submitted spreadsheet. Once you have successfully submitted an amended sample values or operational spreadsheet, submit an amended DMR through the Submitted DMRs grouping. There are multiple ways to submit an amended DMR, and the option you choose will likely depend on your personal preference for routine DMR submittal. For example, within the available DMRs grouping, DMRs can be submitted using the DMR online entry option or by using the upload DMR spreadsheet option. Similarly, DMRs can be amended using the amend DMR online option or by using the resubmit DMR spreadsheet option. Please note that if you do not see an icon in the Download Submitted Spreadsheet column, that means the DMR was previously submitted via the DMR Online Entry option. To perform an amendment using the Amend DMR Online option, click the icon for the appropriate monitoring period. On the DMR Data Entry page, the DMR will contain data that was previously submitted. To perform the DMR amendment, you can manually edit the data by clicking on the appropriate data field, or you can click the Recalculate button. 
The recalculate button utilizes the calculator tool to auto-populate the DMR with data previously submitted during the sample values or operational spreadsheet amendment. I'd like to quickly point out the difference between the next station button compared to the continue button. The next station button will allow you to navigate through monitoring stations. To determine which monitoring station's data is currently displayed, view the station information located above the DMR. The continue button will allow you to move forward with the DMR submittal process and does not allow you to navigate through the monitoring stations. Once all the applicable amendments have been made, click the continue button and formally submit the DMR as you normally would. This includes performing the electronic signature steps. To perform a DMR amendment using the resubmit DMR spreadsheet option, you will first need to download a DMR spreadsheet to be uploaded. One option is to click the appropriate icon in the download submitted spreadsheet column. The second option is to click the appropriate icon in the download calculated spreadsheet column. Please note that the Download Submitted Spreadsheet DMR option contains the originally submitted DMR data and requires the data to be amended manually, whereas the Download Calculated Spreadsheet DMR utilizes the calculator tool, and therefore the DMR will contain updated data from any recent amended sample values or operational spreadsheet submittal. Whichever option you use, be sure to save the downloaded DMR spreadsheet to a known location on your computer. Once you have an amended DMR spreadsheet that is ready to be submitted, click the icon in the Resubmit DMR Spreadsheet column. On the Submit DMR Spreadsheet page, click the Browse button to locate the file to be submitted. Next, you'll click the Continue button to formally submit the DMR as you normally would. This includes performing the electronic signature steps. After you have submitted your DMR using either the Amend DMR Online option or the Resubmit DMR Spreadsheet option, you will receive an email confirming the MPCA has received your submittal as you normally would. Additionally, you can review the record within the Copy of Record column or review the date within the Submitted Date column. Note that the date of the amended submittal has replaced the date of the original submittal. Finally, we will be discussing a DMR amendment associated with attachments. An example of this would be that you forgot to attach the Pond Observation Supplemental Form or Release Report Form for a previously submitted DMR. To amend that DMR so that all attachments are submitted, click on the appropriate monitoring period within the Amend DMR Online column. Since data is not being amended, on the DMR data entry page, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the Continue button. On the Attachments screen, you will upload the file to be submitted as you normally would by clicking the Browse icon for the appropriate attachment type. You will then next complete the DMR submittal process as you normally would. That would include performing the electronic signature steps. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any additional questions, please contact your MPCA compliance staff, and a big thanks to John Thomas for making this video possible.